Hello viewer, welcome back to a new section, Learning Object Tracking. In this section you will learn how to track colored objects and build an interactive object tracker. After that, you will learn about Corner Detector. Finally, you will learn to detect good features to track in building an optical flow based feature tracker. Hi viewers, let's move on to the first video of the section, Tracking Objects of a Specific Color. In this video, you will be looking how to use color spaces to come up with a good visual tracker and also look at the characteristics required to make tracking robust. You will also look at the picking good color spaces and track the image using color distribution of object. In order to build a good object tracker, we need to understand what characteristics can be used to make our tracking robust and accurate. So let's take first step in this direction and see how we can use color spaces to come up with a good visual tracker. One thing to keep in mind is that the color information is sensitive to lighting conditions. There are many different color spaces and picking up a good one will depend on what people use for different applications. While RGB is a native representation on the computer screen, it's not necessarily ideal for humans. When it comes to humans, we give names to colors that are based on their hue. This is why the HSV, hue saturation value, is probably one of the most informative color spaces. It closely aligns how we perceive colors. Hue refers to the color spectrum, saturation refers to the intensity of a particular color, and value refers to the brightness of that pixel. This is actually represented in a cylindrical format. We can take the pixels of an image to the HSV space and then use color space distances and threshold in this space thresholding to track a given object. In order to use this, we must be knowing about color distribution of target object. So let's understand the main code. Here we are building our project at cmakelist.txt file. This is our cmakelist.txt file. This highlighted line generates our project. For this part, we have already built our project. This code is used to track the colored object and selects the pixels. The code is well commented, so read the explanation mentioned previously for each line to see what's happening. This is the main set of code that we are talking about. Let's try to build and run our project. So here we have used CMake. Enter your project directory and also enter build directory. In this case, we created it in eDrive. Click on configure button and click on generic button. This is the directory which I have created. Open your project. Let us build our project. Now consider this input frame on the screen. After running it through the color space filter and tracking the object, you will see something like this. After building and debugging your code, you will see an output like this. In this case, you will see that the object is tracked, that is the colored object. And here the object and background is captured. As you can see here, our tracker recognizes a particular object in the video based on its color characteristics. In order to use this tracker, we need to know the color distribution of our target object. The code is used to track a colored object that selects only pixels that have a certain given hue. That was great, isn't it? So in this video, you learned how a tracker recognizes a particular object based on its color characteristics.